Hi, welcome back. In this video tutorial, I will discuss a very important question uh, related to uh, Databricks uh, Azure Data Engineer profile. And this question is basically asks on one of the very uh, big uh, MNC organization that is the Amgen. Uh, Amgen uh, is a uh, pharmaceutical company. Uh, uh, basically, he working on the uh, uh, different type of the trial and the uh, uh, basically uh, they recently opened the business in the uh, various country as well. Uh, so uh, the question is related to the data bricks and uh, uh, the question is uh, how many cluster uh, are used in our project. So this question is basically uh, help uh, uh, like uh, uh, to interviewer that candidate have the real time experience or not. Uh, so if you are not able to answer this type of the question, uh, they will not uh, uh, process for the next uh, interview, uh, like next question as well. Like this is the very uh, basic thing. Uh, any uh, candidate who are attending the interview uh, in the data brick definitely know uh, what exactly the cluster is using and uh, uh, what how many cluster they are using and uh, what is the use of the each cluster. So basically, the interviewer uh, main uh, uh, motive to ask this question is to. Uh, uh, understand the hands-on experience with the cluster setup and management uh, they have the how the candidate have the uh, optimizing the resources and the cost uh, performance uh, uh, the candidate have the understanding of the different type of the workload or not like the uh, ETL, ML, streaming or the batch processing uh, all these things so that is the reason this type of the question uh, interviewer the asks so uh, before answer this question, uh, I'm just giving you the uh, high level uh, is, uh, what is the cluster. So when we work into the um, uh, data bricks, so any type of the activity you performing, uh, you need to you need uh, the machine to run the code. Okay, so cluster is a set of machine and that process uh, whatever the code is uh, running in the data bricks uh, uh, notebook or the job is running or the any type of the activity you're doing so when we when we have uh, uh, logged into the databricks workspace uh, uh, in the left uh, left side you can see one we have the compute so here you need to be create the uh, different uh, cluster uh, that uh, huge cases in your project but many time the cluster is one time activity is created uh, uh, might be you not have uh, you get a chance to create the cluster when you work in the real time uh, but you should know uh, how how and where we can create the cluster and when you uh, work in the workspace and jump to the workspace notebook and if you click any type of the uh, like a uh, uh, notebook like i'm just uh, uh, i'm just uh, creating one uh, simple uh, notebook here to do some type of the programming okay so uh, for example, I created this notebook. I'm just giving you the uh, development activity, development uh, uh, July or something project. You can uh, X Y Z project. This development activity is starting. So uh, to do this type of the programming, if you're running any type of the programming, you need to be connect here the uh, cluster. So by default, we have the server list. But uh, in the real time, when we work in the project, you need to be create uh, and allocate the uh, new cluster here and that uh, this whatever the activity you are doing they can consume uh, that cluster and that basically data bricks have the charge for the, the particular activity so that is the high level uh, understanding of the cluster now uh, we jump to the answer how you can answer this uh, question so uh, you can just simply answer in my current project uh, we using the uh, four cluster or the three cluster so I'm giving you the uh, uh, four normally all four type of the cluster in real time they're using. But uh, if you have this small project, uh, we're using two cluster only. Uh, now, so the first one is uh, the, the first one is basically uh, the ETL cluster. So ETL activity, uh, ETL in the sense uh, you creating the pipeline and uh, 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 extracting the data, doing the data transformation, and loading the data into the destination. Uh, either in the Databricks warehouse or the any uh, connection is created where we have the fact table, dimensional table or the uh, in the uh, gold layer we have the metalized we, whatever the thing you're doing in the ETL uh, in a current project that cluster is basically used and this cluster is basically 
are used to in scheduling the pipeline frequency pipeline so the first you can explain with the cluster etl cluster second cluster we using uh, is the development cluster so development cluster is basically used to any type of the de development activity uh, like uh, uh, ad hoc query testing notebook and uh, debugging the code like uh, whatever the activity doing the development area you can use the development cluster uh, now uh, the third one uh, if you use uh, some uh, project they have the ml training cluster like data science uh, team we have to create the some type of the model into the um, and, uh, data science uh, so for model training and uh, hyperparameter training uh, this ml training you use so if you're not using not explain this type of the cluster but you can also include the streaming cluster the streaming cluster is basically used to a uh, real time uh, data pro injection and the processing by using the kafka or the uh, structure uh, uh, streaming configure high ability auto scaling for this uh, uh, spikes okay so basically this uh, four cluster are used and uh, you can answer this uh, all this question uh, so uh, you can answer like in my last project we use the three cluster uh, job cluster for schedule uh, uh, etl pipeline it auto scale from two to eight nodes and uh, terminate after the job is completion so once the job is started automatically created the cluster and uh, once the job is uh, completed it automatically terminated the cluster this help reduce the compute cost so one is the job cluster a uh, second one is the development cluster for notebook development and uh, ad hoc analysis it can be all purpose uh, interactive cluster shared by data engineering and the analyst so all the data engineer team and analyst they use the uh, development cluster uh, third one is also we have the ml cluster for training model and uh, using ml flow and uh, databricks auto ml okay so if you are not into the uh, basically into the data science you don't have any much more about this uh, uh, ml flow and databricks auto ml uh, just you can use uh, mention that we use the uh, we have the ml cluster as well but we never use this cluster we only use the job cluster and only use the development cluster but uh, i see in my project we also have the ml cluster but we we not using so uh, i hope you have the idea a be better idea like how you can uh, answer this question uh, they can also cross question you like uh, how uh, or job cluster will be uh, basically created uh, so how uh, you created job cluster or any uh, type of the uh, automation is there so you can also uh, see uh, the infrastructure how the job is created like you can uh, check in or uh, lower environment uh, like uh, you have the development environment so where we can uh, test la like any type of the job is running in the prod how the job is basically are uh, doing the activity some part of the big project also we have the different type of the cluster uh, is also uh, for the development cluster and for the testing cluster all these things but normally we have only a uh, development activity development cluster only okay so uh, to you can answer uh, uh, you can answer like uh, this only okay so i hope you have the uh, better understanding of this question and uh, in the interview if anyone asks anything related to uh, uh, like uh, how many cluster you definitely you can answer all these things okay so i hope you have the uh, better understanding and uh, keep learning and keep cracking any interview thank you so much